While not a Savannah native, the impact Virginia Jackson Kaya had on the hostess city during her time here, it's undeniable. Her art and activism going hand in hand to create change and paint a brighter picture for the future. Yeah, today I was lucky enough to learn a little bit more about her life, legacy, and the vital role she played in this WTOC's Women's History Month special. The Virginia Kaya is an artist, an activist, and really important part of the Savannah community. A community the Baltimore native became ingrained in when she moved to Savannah in 1951. And shortly after, she started a museum in her own house, a museum for the masses. Something Kaya had once longed for herself. Kaya was not allowed to go into some museums because of, of racial policies, you know. And I think for her, it was really important that anybody had access to art. Not only would they have access to it, but many would even become part of it. Uh, Virginia Kai would paint anybody that she came in contact with. So from figures and movie stars on television, to a portrait of her husband, um, to a hardware shop owner in, in South Savannah. Painting those who often went unseen by others and even themselves. For Virginia Kai, uh, an act of portraiture was an, an act of attention. Finding the beauty within. You'd focus on somebody who is in front of you. Showing it to the world, and perhaps more importantly, showing it to themselves. Is an act of respect and act of dignity. Kaya would continue her art and activism alongside the Savannah College of Art and Design, where she would receive an honorary doctorate from in 1986. I think Virginia Kaya and Skad were kindred spirits, and their interest in imagination and dreaming are something that brought them together. Then in 1993, the woman who was once denied entrance to museums would have a museum named for her. Her name etched in history, not because it's now on a building or even because of how well she painted, but rather because she realized how important the smallest of strokes were to creating the bigger picture. I think for Virginia Kaya, if you want to have an impact, the impact starts with yourself and the relationships that you have in the community. So when we want to change the world, for Kaya, it was doing that one-on-one -on -one every single day with anybody that you come into contact with. Well, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Virginia Kaya and her work, SCAD has actually created an online exhibit just for her. To see it, head over to our website, WTOC.com. And whether you like them in Q 